Welcome to Electra Online and now we're going to take a look and see how we discover what atmospheres and planets and moons are made out of by studying the spectrum of the light coming back from those objects. For example, Titan. Titan is the only moon in the solar system that has an atmosphere and if you want to figure out what the atmosphere consists of, we can study the spectrum from that atmosphere. Now, the light coming from Titan of course is reflected from the Sun. So the Sun shines on Titan, Titan the biggest moon uh, of uh, Saturn, and then the light is reflected, partially absorbed, partially reflected, and when the light is reflected back to the Earth, we observe it on the Earth. But we have to remember that the light came from the Sun, and we have to deal with the fact that the Sun has a number of absorption lines, especially the very strong line of hydrogen. In addition to that, when the light comes through our atmosphere, the Earth's atmosphere also absorbs oxygen. So that's going to be an absorption line in the light coming back to us from Titan as well. And then Titan, since the atmosphere is predominantly made of methane, then we can see the absorption spectrum of methane. So this is what we get back, that's what we analyze. And so we have to then realize that this here came from Titan, this here came from Titan. So we have confirmation that there is methane in the atmosphere of Titan. But then we also have to realize that the hydrogen spectrum a line, the absorption line I should say, that uh, from the light of the Sun, we know that this therefore came from the Sun, has nothing to do with Titan, and then we also realize that the Earth's absorption line of oxygen is going to be a factor that we have to account for, and again we cannot contribute that to the atmosphere of Titan. But notice that we can find out where the absorption lines are, where the absorption points are, we can then figure out the wavelength of that and from that analyze what is going on in the atmosphere of Titan simply by studying the light reflected back from Titan and of course taking into account that we have some, uh, some other things in there that are not from Titan and we have to separate those. That's pretty interesting. So without actually flying there and analyzing it through a satellite, we can figure out what the atmosphere of Titan is like. Pretty clever. And so we see in the next video, we'll see another example of how we can use that to try to find the consistency of some of the moons uh, around Jupiter by doing a similar kind of thing. Not of the atmosphere, of course, but then there we do it for the surface. Welcome to Electron Line, and now that, let's take a look and see how we do what. <laughs> see, I'm not ready yet. Give me a minute to get into character light coming back from them. Now let's see here, let's see what, no, 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 just give me a break, start over again. I just, I'm not ready, it's not flowing yet.